Happy birthday, Jesse! Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Jesse, my sticky pacoon. Happy 21st birthday. Hey, Jesse, happy birthday from the philosophy department and from me. Hey, what's up, Jesse? Happy birthday, man. Hi, Jesse. Good evening, Jesse. It's uh, me, Sandra Bullock, here. Happy birthday, Jesse. I miss you so much. Hi, Jesse. Jesse, what's up? Happy birthday, bud. Hey, Jesse. It's me, you know, your friend Haley in the lid. Hey, Jesse. Happy birthday. We really miss you, and we wanted to make you something so that you can remember how many people you have at Furman that care about you. So, hope you enjoy. As I sit in my hotel room in New Orleans and think about Jesse, uh, my favorite things pop to mind. My favorite thing about Jesse is that he's real. Jesse is so warm and loving. Jesse's always down for a good TLC bagel and a warm hug. I love Jesse because he has always called me Queen Rollin. He's a charismatic, amazing human being. He's love for other people, um, the way he loves people and the way he's intentional with them um, is just a joy to be around. I love Jesse's sense of humor and his willingness to jump in and help anyone with anything and just, um, he just has such a, a servant's heart and is fun to be around. He's able, no matter what mood you're in, to make you laugh and to make you feel comfortable and happy but he's also a real person. I like that Jesse always has fun. Every time I'm with Jesse, I have a lot of fun. He is always a ray of sunshine and very loving and kind and makes you feel very valued and just very energetic and always down to have fun. <laughs> he always encourages me to see things with new perspectives and to prioritize relationships and love in my life. He's always down to talk, you know, about deep things, um, whether there's something going on in your life or just trying to make sure they laugh in a conversation, you know, Jesse's always there just to sit down and he takes time out of his day, which is saying a lot in this, this day and age um, when everything's so busy. There are so many reasons why I love you. Honestly, like a bajillion. I miss your laugh. I miss your infectious character um, and how Furman seems to be a better place with you here. Uh, thank you for being genuine. Thank you for always being down to, to relax and sit and have a good laugh and take life easy and just just be you, which is huge, um, something rare and something so so cool and so real. You know, asking me um, what's going on when I'm not being myself uh, and being there for me when there are sad times, but also being someone that I can just have fun with. Even FaceTiming you the other day was awesome and just put a huge smile on my face and I couldn't stop laughing obviously with you. I think the most dear to me is just how authentic you are. You light up this campus like no one else because you're just so yourself and it's amazing. Um, you are just so caring and so loving and so charismatic and so hysterical and everyone just loves you so much. We miss you. You've had a huge impact on me on this campus through summer orientation with you asking me to do that. That has had such an impact on me because it's allowed me to really learn who I am and become more comfortable around other people and more comfortable on this campus. We are thinking about you on your special day. I am so, so thankful to have a friend as caring and as hilarious and as joyful as you and we are anticipating your return. I'm looking forward to having you back because I haven't been to Pilates in several weeks. Uh, I just wanted to share with you one of my favorite moments that we share together and that is the time in one of our improvisational comedy shows where you cradled my breasts so beautifully um, it nearly brought me to tears. One of my favorite memories with Jesse was um, on the Pie Cat Hall last year when it was late at night on one school evening and he was being chased around by Davis and eventually we all ended up in my room and strung together some weird song on the guitar and some spoken word. I don't remember exactly what happened but I just remember we started talking and we had some really deep life chat and we were both very like supportive and like friendly and stuff like that. And I just remember walking away from it and being like, yeah, Jesse's such a nice guy. Like, I'm glad I'm his roommate. 
I wanted to share my favorite memory of you, which is meeting you at the Acceptance Students Day in Columbia, what I think is about two years ago now. My favorite memories with you, gosh, I have so many. It would definitely be our kiss in the pool, Avi, because it was glorious. And kiss like we did in summer. Oh. Um, second would be when you romantically asked me to give me, to give you my eggs, um, my egg cells. That was great. It was also in the DH, so like classy place, right? Well, that's probably like the third favorite time a homosexual has cradled my breasts. Um, and third, obviously, is my Aunt Carol, who still thinks that we're dating. So thanks for being a great fake boyfriend. But, as of now, we would just like to wish you a happy birthday. Have a happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday! Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, Jesse! Just want to say happy birthday, Jesse. Want to send my love. Happy birthday. You're a freaking rock star. Happy birthday, Jesse Tompkins. I love feeling wanted and owned by my bed. I love you so much, and I miss you so much, and I hope today is wonderful, and I can't wait to see you next semester and give you a big ol' squeeze. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Greetings from White Oaks. We hear today might be a special day, so we thought we would entertain you. So let's go to our den, or our living room, and this may very well be the first and last time the Davis duo make a recording. And it's all just for you. Jesse, you make firm and better. We love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday.